Growing up with mother and dad was, uh, was an interesting experience. <laughs> uh, I adored my father. And huh? my mother, I adored her too, but she, she tended to be the enforcer. And I tended to test her. I was a lively lad. <laughs> and I inherited a lot of her feistiness. When I was campaigning for governor, I would tell people of Texas, I had my daddy's eyes and my mother's mouth. You should be so lucky. <laughs> See what I'm talking about? Uh, we did have some wonderful battles, but he never let us down. I mean, he, he was a very sweet son. It's only happened twice in history that a father and son have served as president, and it's made for a rare bond between 41 and 43. On the day of George W.'s first inauguration, he and his father met in the Oval Office. It was, it was a powerful moment. Uh, we didn't say much to each other. No. I said, he said, Mr. President. I said, welcome, Mr. President. Very emotional and wonderful and rewarding. It's about pride and guy that set out to do something and did it. It's wonderful. When it comes to criticism of either presidency, the Bush family closes ranks. You're in it yourself. You get used to it some, to some degree. Used to it. But it's much more difficult to hear when somebody attacks your son. Ours is not a political affiliation. You know, ours is a, an affiliation based upon pure love. And so when you see somebody you love get hammered in the press, it is a painful experience. When you yourself get hammered in the press, it, it really means nothing. That's just part of the job. Unfairly. Well, I appreciate you saying that, Mom. Well, Whitney's 16-year-old beautiful daughter, Bobby <laughs> Christina, is here. Look at you. How, how proud are you of your mother? We've all had moments in our personal or professional lives when it becomes difficult to stay motivated. Erica Diamond is with us to share how to stay inspired. She's a life coach and the founder and editor-in-chief of the highly successful blog, Women on the Fence.